Hey there, welcome back to the channel, in this video we are going to look at the following WWE news and rumors, Braun Strowman teases his future plans with a cryptic tweet, Roman Reigns shoot demands to WWE revealed, we are also going to look at how Becky Lynch met Seth Rollins, and more. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for daily wrestling content. Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins are two of the most popular names in the pro wrestling world today. What makes this tidbit crazier is the fact that Becky Lynch hasn't wrestled a match in more than a year and is still relevant among the WWE universe. Lynch and Rollins made their relationship official in mid-2019 when the man spilled the beans during a Twitter war with WWE Hall of Famers Edge and Beth Phoenix. What many fans still wonder to this day is how Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins met. The former women's champion opened up on the same during a chat with Ariel Helwani on ESPN MMA back in 2020. We've been friends for years and years, and just immediately the first conversation that I ever had with him. We just hit it off. I think I just ended up telling him my life story. And that was it. We were just friends. And there was never really anything. But then. We were both single at the same time. And then we were like, why not, said Lynch. Becky Lynch stated that the two came to WWE around the same time and were great friends from the very beginning. Becky then revealed that they hit it off during their first conversation itself. Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins both had an excellent 2019 with peak moments for both WWE superstars coming at WrestleMania 35. Rollins defeated Brock Lesnar to become Universal Champion in the opening match of the show. Becky Lynch pinned Ronda Rousey to win the Raw and SmackDown women's titles in the first main event in WrestleMania history to be headlined by women. Lynch and Rollins were also featured together on WWE TV for a short while, but went their separate ways following their extreme rules 2019 outing against King Corbin and Lacey Evans. Becky Lynch vacated her Raw women's title immediately after Money in the Bank 2020 due to her pregnancy. She hasn't wrestled since then, but WWE President Nick Khan has assured fans that she will return somewhere down the line. Lynch Rollins is one of the biggest power couples in WWE history. They welcomed their first baby, Rue, in December 2020. Lynch's latest photos indicate that she's doing incredibly well in the fitness department and looks in great shape for a return. The release of Braun Strowman from WWE earlier this week alongside multiple other major names has left the entire pro wrestling community shocked, as fans are starting to accept that he is no longer in WWE. The biggest question now is what does the future hold for the former Universal Champion? Braun Strowman has now sent a cryptic tweet, teasing future plans following his WWE release by claiming that while he is leaving, there are many places he's still got to see. The tweet has the lyrics of the song Free Bird from the rock band Leonard Skinnerd, whose Twitter account is also tagged in the tweet from Strowman. If I leave here tomorrow, would you still remember me, for I must be traveling on now cause there's too many places I've got to see, tweeted Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman's WWE release was a massive shocker because he was one of the most prominent superstars on WWE's roster. The monster among men even challenged for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania Backlash in a triple threat match against Drew McIntyre and Bobby Lashley. Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter has reported that Strowman's big money contract was a reason for his WWE release. He also added that the company has got other giants on their roster like Omos, Commander Aziz, and Shanky, making Strowman obsolete. With Strowman, Adam Scher, 37, who was on a $1.2 million guaranteed deal and had just a few weeks back denigrated all non-WWE wrestling and said he would never work anywhere else. The decision was made because of the feeling he was two years past his peak, and he had become obsolete as the roster giant because of Omos on Raw, Commander Aziz on SmackDown, and perhaps Shanky on Raw, being on the main roster who were so much bigger than he is, said Dave Meltzer. Charlotte Flair has posted her reaction to Andrade's big debut on AEW Dynamite. She took to Twitter immediately and posted a heartfelt message. Andrade was granted his WWE release in March 2021. Fan speculation in regards to his next big move has been rampant on social media ever since, and the wait is finally over. Andrade has debuted on AEW Dynamite and fans can't contain their excitement. Apparently, neither can Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair and Andrade got into a relationship in early 2019 and got engaged on January 1, 2020. Charlotte's father Ric Flair has had nothing but praise for Andrade ever since the relationship started. Charlotte Flair has opened up in the past about her relationship with Andrade and how she pitched for the duo to work together on WWE TV. I've actually pitched that. I would be very much open to that. 
I've done a lot in my career, but nobody has seen me in an on-cam relationship or in that light. I can come across cold on TV, Charlotte confessed, AEW boasts some of the best talents in the pro wrestling industry today. There are tons of exciting possibilities when it comes to feuds involving Andrade and AEW's top stars, which matchup do you want to see the most now that Andrade is a part of AEW? Universal Champion Roman Reigns is arguably the biggest star on WWE's current roster, his run as a heel since last year has been exceptional and the Tribal Chief character has been highly applauded by fans as well as critics, an important aspect of Roman Reigns' heel character has been his idea of being the head of the table and the true main eventer. Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman reportedly have a lot of creative control of the character and all his segments and matches have either opened the show or closed it, the two most important slots. Now, according to Dave Meltzer on the latest Wrestling Observer Radio, Roman Reigns' shoot demand has been to either go first or last, and he doesn't want to be anywhere in the middle of the show, you put the most important first or last, that's the big argument right now with Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns will either go first or last, he won't go anywhere else, that's a shoot. He doesn't want to go anywhere but first because that's okay or last which is preferable because he's the main event and he doesn't want to go second or fourth or second from the top," said Dave Meltzer. Jimmy's return to Friday Night Smackdown has spiced things up, while Jay has accepted himself to be the right-hand man of Roman Reigns, Jimmy has been extremely rebellious, making it clear that he won't be taking orders from the tribal chief. This week on SmackDown, Jimmy and Jay faced Rey Mysterio and Dominic for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships twice, the first time, they lost the match, but due to an improper pin, the two teams faced each other again in the main event of the show. During the match in the main event, Roman Reigns interfered and proceeded to beat down Rey Mysterio and Dominic. Frustrated by Roman Reigns' vicious beatdown, Jimmy walked off but Roman held back Jay. All signs point towards a future match between Jimmy and Roman Reigns. Could it happen at WWE Hell in a Cell 2021 later this month? Comment down below and let us know how you feel about Roman Reigns' title run so far.